Hello, this is a very important video for students who are in grade 10 and picking their courses for grade 11. What do you need to select for your courses in grade 11? You need to ensure you pick your English, your math, and any other missing compulsory credits. If you go on to your My Blueprint and look at your graduation indicator, you can click there to see exactly if you have any other courses that you are missing that you have to take to graduate. Keys to help you find the right pathway. It's really important that you make informed choices when selecting your courses at course selection time. Use My Blueprint and work backwards. Think of the colleges or universities you might want to go to one day and work backwards to see what you need to take in order to get you there. Consider the optional courses you've taken in grade 9 and 10 that you've really liked. Email your guidance counselor or book an appointment to discuss all your options. Use My Blueprint. It's an excellent tool to help you explore your pathways. Also, visit the Heart Lakes guidance site and look on the department pages. Each department has its own tab and site to look at so you can read about all the courses they offer. Talk to your teachers, family, and friends. In grade 11, courses can be taken at the college, open, university, and workplace level. It's very important to think about your pathway after high school when selecting your courses so you ensure you have the right ones to get you there. Thinking about your educational goals and your career goals. Are you thinking of going to college one day, university, private training institute, an apprenticeship, going directly into the workplace? An apprenticeship offers you on-the-job training in a skilled trade. You can actually select co-op in high school and do an Ontario Youth Apprenticeship Program, which allows you to bank your hours at high school towards your apprenticeship afterwards. If you're wanting to do an apprenticeship, I strongly recommend you to talk to your guidance counselor about taking co-op next year. College and University. College has one-year certificate programs, two- and three-year diploma programs. College is more skill-based, practical learning, and career-focused programs. There's many pre-apprenticeship programs you can take as well. There's many, many bridging opportunities from colleges to universities, which means you can get a two-year diploma at a college and go directly into university and also get your degree. There are many colleges close to Brampton if you're hoping to stay at home. If you are going to college, you need to select mainly college-level courses. University. University has three and four-year undergraduate degrees. It's more independent learning, less interaction with professors, and larger class sizes. Large group lectures and smaller tutorials will happen. Some universities have co-op programs, which give you the great opportunity to work in the field in which you are enjoying. If you are planning to go to university, you should be selecting mainly your courses at the university in mixed level. Co-op. Heart Lake has two co-op programs, a four credit program, which would run a full day for the entire semester, or a two credit program, which means you'd pick two credits of co-op, which you'd do in the afternoon, and two other courses that you'd do in the morning. Co-op gives you the opportunity to be in the workplace and explore possible careers. You can earn hours towards your youth apprenticeship program. You can complete your resume, cover letter, first aid, CPR, and women's training. It's a great way to get work experience while in high school. SHSM. Heart Lake has two specialist high skills majors program. Please check our guidance site under departments for more information on each. We have one in arts and culture and one in information and communication technology. SHSM programs allow you to focus your learning in one of the two areas with guest speakers, workshops, and field trips. You also get special certifications. Please note, if you are applying to be an SHSM student, you must take co-op to credit in either grade 11 or 12 to graduate with the Red Seal. Summer school. We usually get summer school information around March break. We will be sure to announce it on our Google Classroom when you can register. If you are planning to take something in summer school, please do not select it for next year's courses. 
For example, if you want to take grade 11 in summer school, please don't check, choose it for next year. Choose grade 12 English or another option instead. Where do I find information on course selection? You can go directly to our guidance site. There's a tab called course selection and diploma requirements where all our videos can be seen as well as information about what you need in order to graduate. Under Department Courses and Programs, you can find all information about co-op, SHSM, and each department you can go on to to look at their courses more in detail. Be sure to start researching now. Plan ahead and make informed choices. Here is our guidance site and also our Google Classroom. All important updates will be added to our Google Classroom and you will be notified. Please be sure to join. If you have any questions at all, please reach out to your guidance counselor to book an appointment and talk about this more in detail. Thank you so much. Have a great day.